Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have a small Dollar General haul. And along with the Dollar General haul, I have three adorable Christmas cards I've received I wanted to share. And two are from the UK, which I was really, really excited about getting today. Um, so let's get right into my Dollar General haul. I uh, was mentioning a Light Up Angel tree topper, and this is she. There was only two left, and I grabbed this one. Um, I had one of these years ago. It had a white and gold um, gown on. And if I had thought, I could actually have removed the lights that are in it and just simply bought a set of battery operated lights from Dollar Tree and um, use them. Um, put them on the bottom of the angel through the openings and I could have used them. But um, I did not think about that. So this one, at least I know now, I have an idea what I can do when um, when hopefully years down the road the light burns out I can just get a set of um, lights from Dollar Tree and use them and it was only eight dollars these are absolutely gorgeous so you know what's going on top of Spencer well you always need items for your household and my household is no different so back to a big 12 pack of the Dollar General Ultra Strong Supply Toilet Paper and I have to admit guys this toilet paper lasts in my opinion up to three times as long as Scott Tissue don't get me wrong I grew up with Scott Tissue my grandmother that's all she bought but ever since they started quilting the rolls and everything um, I find that there's less paper on the damn rolls and if anything I think I go through double the Scott Tissue what I do as compared to other brands. So, yeah, I'm just not a big fan of Scott Tissue anymore. Um, it's just not economical. But I do give the Dollar General Ultra Strong uh, toilet paper a big thumbs up. It is economical and it just lasts, um, lasts a while. And then one pack right here could last me and Ronnie for a whole month easy. So, um, yeah. Uh, Scott Tissue is just not economical um, as it used to be, you know? So I'm thinking that Dollar General either stopped carrying the three pack of paper towels that was $1.95 and instead switched it up with this. I'm not exactly sure because I didn't see any of the um, three pack of uh, paper towels. I haven't actually seen them for a little bit. So I am starting to think that um, maybe they just stopped carrying them and maybe they're switching it up with the two pack. I'm not sure, but I didn't actually see, um, see any of them. So, I grabbed some Purina Naturals cat food um, for my guys because I don't know yet when I'm going to get my check. So, I wanted to be sure that I didn't run out. I also got them um, until I can order from Amazon. They're wet. Um, roasted chicken and signature tuna on tray. I'll be getting me fancy feast them off of Amazon. Some two packs of steel soap pads. 
spells to come in handy. You just never, never know when you're going to need them. My double pack of Vixident, which actually I think when I get my check, I'm going to get another one, a double pack, so I have it. Um, just so I don't run out uh, of anything like that, you know? Um, I did get some of these flushable wipes. Now, these are good, and I know someone might think it's funny for me to say this, but, um, these are good because I'm sorry, but sometimes toilet paper alone just doesn't make you feel clean. Um, enough said. So, I think these are good to, good to have for those moments. So this is a cute little set of ornaments. There is 24 in the container. I really like the pretty turquoise blue that is in here. Um, I like the little red with the snowflake on too. So I was going to put some of these on the uh, tree tonight. We usually get new decorations every year. Either some new ornaments or some new garland, something. So I got a little bit of everything like that tonight. I got two rows of this real pretty 18 foot wide garland. Um, a really pretty silver garland. Very pretty actually. And it has the um, white with it underneath. Almost looks like a cellophane white like um, snowflakes or like icicles almost really pretty and I grabbed these little ornaments one with a nest on and one with an R they're real cute and as you'll see there's the black and white buffalo check um super cute so still um, even in Christmas decorations, there is the buffalo check theme still going on. Um, I have deer. I got them from Dollar Tree like two years ago. So I have this. Now, this is a cute little owl. So I figure, okay, I got the owl. I have deer. Um, you know, why not? Owls are adorable. Some really cute ribbons and bows for gifts. And again, you'll see that turquoise is even carried over um, in here with um, the bows. Just like in the ornaments. See that? Pretty cool, to be honest. Um, and that's only, what is this? This is only $2. The bag of bows, like, and there's a good amount of bows in it was roughly three dollars and i thought for a small amount of presents that i'm wrapping this is more than sufficient so yeah um i wanted to get up to dollar tree but i highly doubt that i'm actually going to get there before christmas i'm thinking if i'm going to get there at any time it'll probably be after christmas um I just don't see me having the time and walking all the way up there and walking all the way back. So, yeah. Um, so, like I said, I just grabbed um, some things from Dollar General. Now, these are little small ornaments. And I was thinking I may actually still do my tabletop tree that I wanted to do. Um... I keep a tree up until, honestly, um, I want to say the middle of January. So, in the case of a live tree, I would have that tree up until it really started drying out. Then I would take it down. So, even though I'm getting a super late start on my tree, um, it's going to be up for a bit. So, same thing with my red tree. Um, I'm probably just going to leave that maybe on top of my stereo. 
after the holidays, um, you know, I don't know, we will, we will see, so I think, yeah, that I'm gonna just, um, do, um, I think I'm gonna go with the, uh, white one and, uh, work on that DIY, um, maybe last minute for Christmas, but you know what, you could still keep it up after the holidays, so, I don't think it really matters if you don't have it done by quote-unquote Christmas. Um, there are some DIYs that could actually translate into winter decor items that, for example, wreaths, that you don't necessarily have to do them in time for Christmas. And there is one I want to do. It's a dupe. I really think you guys are going to like it. But I do need to get up to Dollar Tree for that. I need a, um, a grapevine um, reap as a basis for it. So, yeah. Um, so I'm going to say probably after the holidays, I will work on that cute wreath. But again, like I said, not necessarily Christmassy. Could also be a winter decor item too, you know. But um, definitely it'll be really cute. Um, this is some adorable burlap ribbon. It's decorative ribbon. Um, it says, Home for the Holidays. And it has the little red truck with the Christmas trees in, which is so cute. Um, I was thinking perhaps I could use that on candles. I don't know. Um, I just thought it was cute, and I bought it. Not exactly sure what I'm going to use it with yet, but, um, just cute. Christmassy socks that I could wear Christmas Day, Santa, ho, 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 and they're only a dollar. I mean, what the heck, right? I have Halloween socks, Valentine's Day socks, um, socks for the 4th of July. I have, um... I have a pair of like mid calf Christmas socks. Um, I'm trying to think. I think there was, oh, Valentine's Day. Um, I actually have a couple of pair for Valentine's Day. So, yeah, I do like my funky uh, holiday socks. And I got this uh, bundle of these berries because I'm going to be using them in the DIY. Not so much going to be a holiday DIY as I want to say more a winter DIY. So, um, yeah. Glad I grabbed these in lieu of going to Dollar Tree. Um, and I'll be putting the use the uh, wood, the wood sconce base that I got from um, Salvation Army when I did the Bloomsburg Salvation Army haul. So, you'll get to see soon what I'm going to do with them. Now, these are going into that York Peppermint Patty, um, the Mini Bites dessert. I'm making that, um, as a snack for Christmas Day. So, these are going to be going into the actual mix to give it extra York Peppermint Patty flavor. And, uh, definitely, Ronnie and I are going to taste the new revamped, um, your peppermint patties and let you guys know what we um what we think and last but certainly not least by any means i wanted to share with you all um several adorable cards i got um this is absolutely adorable i love it it's like three-dimensional um so cute this is from lauren body and Wendy the Chinchilla, and uh, I messaged her back in her card and said that chinchillas are so cute. I'm a skunk lover and possum lover here in PA. I absolutely adore skunks. I think that they are beautiful animals, and I truly do believe if you don't bother them, they don't bother you. We have one roam around all summer. And I wish I would have been able to get a picture of um, Silver. 
because Ronnie figured out that Silver um, was a girl because Silver had a baby. Because Ronnie encountered Silver with her son or daughter um, heading over our way into our yard. And us and Ronnie was like, hey mom, guess what? Silver is a female. I'm like, well, how do you know? Because I've seen Silver with their baby. I'm like, oh, okay. And apparently skunks are uh, one of many animals, actually, that can um, limit the number of offspring that they have, apparently, like in the um, litter, I guess, depending on food scarcity. <laughs> um, there's a term for that. I don't know what it is. But um, apparently, I guess, as with other animals, um, apparently have the ability to do that too. And they only have like one or two babies in each birth. Um, he said if food is, you know, lean, they will only have like one baby. So they are pretty assured that they can feed themselves and their offspring. And I thought, well, that is really interesting. Um, and baby possums, I think, are adorable. Hedgehogs, you know, all them little kind of, uh, animals are so cute, you know? And also important to, um, again, the bigger picture, our ecosystem. You know, they all have a part to play and, um, mess one part of the ecosystem up and everything gets thrown out of balance, so... You know, um, chinchillas, though, they are sweet. I remember my mom telling me that they were hunted so much, though, for their fur and everything many, many years ago when I was little. So I'm grateful that the demand for expensive fur coats has died out over the years because when I was a little girl, believe me, I remember seeing quite a few women with mink stoles and chinchilla coats and everything and it was really sad how many animals went into that one coat so i'm glad that that um has decreased a lot like you don't even see movie stars decking out and draping themselves in like all these furs and everything it's thank god a style that has sort of fallen by the wayside um, because it's just terrible thinking about all those animals that went into that particular coat or a mink stole or whatever, you know. But anyway, so Lauren and Wendy said, stay strong during these tough times and know that your YouTube channel is fun and engaging. Well, I thank you very much for saying that. Um, I really appreciate that. I'm low income myself. And enjoy your homemade creative gift ideas. Well, thank you. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate that as well. Sharon's greetings from New Hampshire. Merry Christmas. Happy and healthy New Year. Wishing you all the happiness your holiday can hold. Vanilla Rose One, YouTube name. Blessings, Lauren Body and Wendy the Chinchilla. And that's why I said I'm a skunk and possum girl here because I think they're both like beautiful little creatures. Well, all animals are beautiful in my book. But um, thank you so much, Lauren. I have your card out to you. Now these last two cards I just literally got in the mail today. I was so excited um, because they are all the way from over in the UK. And I absolutely positively endured, yeah, endured, um, okay, I meant to say enjoyed. I don't know why I said endured. That was weird. That was really weird. Um, I really, really enjoyed it, opening up my mailbox and seeing that one but two with the buyer mail stamp on Royal Mail. I'm like, yes. <laughs> yeah, so I was super excited to um, get cards from the UK. Dear Sharon, I subscribe to your channel. It's fantastic. Thank you so, so much. I hope you're keeping safe during this pandemic. We are in Tier 3 in Manchester. 
no mixing for Christmas. It's sad. I do agree. Um, I do watch a lot of news, probably too much. Um, but I do always focus on a lot on what goes on over in the UK as well, because I have a good mix of subs from different areas um, in the UK, so I do keep an interest on what's going on with you folks as well. Um, definitely cause for concern right now is that mutant strain of the virus. Um, definitely very, very creepy um, when they hit our news here in the US. And um, I don't even know what to think about that. That is something for a chat and I'm thinking, well, you know what, let me know in the comment section below guys, what do you think about a chat, say, day after Christmas, the 26th? Everybody up for a chat? Um, let me know in the comment section. And um, yeah, I won't be doing anything on the 26th, but pretty much being lazy. So yeah, I'd be happy to uh, whip up a pot of coffee and I don't know, just have a chat. But um, definitely, I hope you and your family um, stay safe as well, Christine. We'll try and write a letter in the new year. Wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Chris Inns and family, Manchester, United Kingdom. If I mispronounce your name, Christine, I, I am really, really sorry. Um, I absolutely loved the stamps. With, for anybody who has never seen um, from over in the UK, but I'm loving those stamps. They're actually very, very, very pretty. Um, with the, uh, with the queen on. Um, I have been faithfully following the series, The Crown. Um, and I will admit I was a big admirer and I was young when she married Prince Charles, but absolutely adored Lady Diana. Um, I had my hair cut like hers actually when I was young and I loved the way her hair was cut because after I got it, um, I realized it actually looked nice as it grew out and you'll see so many pictures of her when her hair was growing out and so many things that they were able to do with her hair as it was growing out and it just looked like so nice on her. And believe me, many of us in the U.S. took it as hard as folks in the U.K. did when she died in that accident. It was absolutely horrible. And it was truly, truly heartbroken because I never thought that she fit in with, with that family. I'm not saying she didn't belong or that she didn't have class. She most certainly did. I'm just saying she was so much more down to earth and not an uppity type of person. And that's why I felt that she didn't, she didn't fit in because of that. She wasn't afraid to get her hands dirty. She wasn't afraid to rub elbows with sick people and sick children. And she had a gener gener generous, generous, tongue tied, um, a generous heart. And her causes were very important to her that she believed in. And I could truly say that Lady Diana was an inspiration to many young girls in the U.S. Especially with her struggle with anorexia and bulimia. Um, That is something that killed a very popular singer when I was a little girl, um, Karen Carpenter. And it was such a shame because she had such a beautiful voice. So, so pretty. Um, her and her brother could have been making music together, God, for years, you know, even as they were in their 50s, 60s, they could have. Um, but that cut her life short. Damaged her health really, really um, bad. So... Diana speaking out about her struggles with it 
Um, she was an inspiration for a lot of women for a lot of reasons and young girls. And um, I'm truly heartbroken that she died so tragically. Um, always sad when someone young passes away like that tragically, you know? So, Christine, you don't have your return address, dear. If you could message me at my Yahoo email, which is listed down below. Um, give me your uh, address so I can send a card in return. Um, you should get it, I want to say, hopefully by New Year's Eve. Um, but I can actually go on to stamps.com and it will tell me if I need to take it to the post office or if I can actually print everything up on my computer tonight and um, just as affix on the envelope what I need to affix. Um, this is from Linda, Linda Lane, and she is in United Kingdom. She is, says, greetings from England to Sharon Ronnie, Oreo and Feisty, Christmas wishes, and hoping and wishing for a better new year. Oh, Linda, we all are. All around the globe, we all share that same sentiment, no matter the country, no matter the city, no matter the town, whatever. Believe me, everyone, everywhere, as I said, it doesn't matter what country, we all share that that sentiment that um yeah i just can't wait until this damn pandemic is over i can't wait till this horrible year is ended it has just been a terrible year for so many people um and really truly hoping for better next year love and hugs from linda l from north london um, I've often said, and again, um, and again, there is the stamps with the queen on, um, they're actually quite beautiful, those stamps, um, very interesting, very, very interesting, um, I don't have holiday stamps. The stamps that I'm actually using are forever stamps from, um, I think the summer I bought like two, three books of them. Um, but yeah, it's always good to, um, good to have them. So yeah. Um, so Linda, thank you so, so much for the wonderful card and Chris and Lauren. Um, Lauren, your card's out in the mail. Christine, I need your address. You could PM me at my Yahoo email down below. And Linda, I will be getting a card out to you in the next day or so. As I said, it may not arrive till after the new year, but that is okay because to me, I still consider that, I don't know, the holiday season. I think in my way of thinking, the holiday season, I guess, is officially over January 1st, like New Year's Day. Um, but you know what? I don't care if people are still sending me holiday cards afterwards. That is perfectly fine to me because you know what? Everything just got so thrown off kilter. Um... If you send, want to send me a Christmas card, I will happily send you one in return. I don't care if it's February. Um, it is the thought of it all that truly, truly counts in the end. So, I hope you like this haul. Um, you know, if you do, please give this video a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit my subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. I'm finally getting in the habit of saying it, so Ronnie would be proud. Um, as always, thank you so, so much for watching, everyone. I am...
truly, truly blessed in many ways. And I'm actually going to sit, I think, maybe Christmas Eve. I was thinking about my mom and just thinking about, like, my family when I was younger. And making a list of, like, what I am grateful for. And yes, it is a hard time. But at the same time, I am grateful that I come into homes literally all around the country. And that someone takes a few minutes out of their day or evening to watch me is very powerful and really makes me feel good. So, you know, I think of many things that I am grateful for. Um, one of them, of course, obviously, obviously, is my YouTube subs. Because without all of you, I would not have a channel. And speaking of my channel, I am, after Christmas, going to be working on getting my second channel up and running, which is Strictly Hidden Object Games. There may be times I may play a game that isn't a hidden object, but I think for the beginning of it, for the first few months, I'm going to focus on, like, Dark Parable games. Um, because there are several people that were actually interested in Dark Parable games. And I want to get back into playing them games because they are relaxing, weaning myself off of so much binge watching on Netflix and um, Hulu and that and more or less getting back into reading. Um, I would like to get back into at least a minimum of two books a month um, to actually read and maybe like talk about the books that I read, um, you know. But, um, yeah, I'm going to be working on getting my second channel up and running. And being that it's going to be basically about hidden object games. Although, like I said, there is maybe two or three I will play. Um, maybe in between so many hidden object games. Um, like Zuma or Luxor. Um, that aren't hidden object. Kind of like to break it, break that up. But um, I was going to name that channel What Lies Hidden, obviously because it's a hidden object game channel. So when I have everything set up with that, and I'm ready to actually um, upload a video from it, and well actually when I have a video uploaded to it, my very first video with that channel, I will include the link in, you know, whatever video I happen to be doing at the time on this channel. And, um, yeah, so that channel being that the videos are automatically going to be longer, at least, say, 30 to maybe 40, 45 minutes, because I am going to be going through, like, chapters of the game, and it's actually better to break it up into, like, chunks. I guess you could say, um, so many chapters per video. That I may actually do maybe two or three videos per week on as well. So yes, I plan on being busy. I didn't get a chance yet to actually start my cookbook, um, yet that I want to actually upload on Amazon. Um, when I get some other things like straightened out and squared away, then I actually want to look into that, any costs associated with it. And um, then I will take it from there. And when I actually start doing it, I'll talk about that. As well as um, when it's ready to actually go on to um, Amazon. So take care, guys. Please stay safe. And I will see everyone on my next one.